Hello student, we again come together for discussing the digital communication. The paper code for the subject is EE705C. I am one of the today we discuss about the module 2 and module 2 is entitled as a form of signal vector representation which is submodule as the analogy between the signal and vector. We discuss today also the distinguishability of signal orthogonality and orthonormality basic function orthogonal signal space so if we continue with our topic initially we have to identify what is a vector and what is the coordinate is required for that a vector can be described by magnitude and an angle or it can be described in the term of the coordinate so vector is defined the direction and also the magnitude so what kind of direction it will be used that one can be specified by the coordinate system form so various kind of coordinate can be used on there we are not interested in here to discuss about various kind of coordinate though we are talking initially as a xy coordinate that is the cartesian coordinate in here so for the cartesian coordinate system if we consider the xy coordinate we can describe the coordinate using the unit vector so if you know the unit vector that then how much position value is going to the x or y direction on that point of space you can be identify the vector location and also the direction basically x coordinate is defined as a unit vector as a form of small i with the mod value and the unit vector for the y direction is defined as a bold value of j on there if we consider a vector a and the vector is defined as a form of the 4i class of 3j reason is that if you just draw the vector from the origin that is this is direction for the i and this one is direction for the y direction this is for the unit vector of j so here if we identify this vector a that time 4 times of i is required to identify the x direction value and if you consider for the y direction value that time the unit vector will be multiplied from the 3s that is the 4i plus of 3j is equal to required for the vector of a same way if we consider the b as another one vector and that one is the 4 of i plus of j that is the x direction there 4 times of unit vector is used and the y direction of position the single unit vector is used on the to representing the vector of b so here two vector we are considering one is the a and another one is the vector of b now the sum of the vector a b could be described the easily in terms of the unit vector how can you do this one you just add it between the coefficient for individual one co vector unit one that is if you consider for the a as a unit vector is multiplied with the four that is the coefficient is four in here and for the b also co vector their coefficient is 4 on there so you just add between them so it will be as a 8 on there and if you consider for the j that is the y direction that time for the a the coefficient is the 3 for the j direction or y direction and for the b y direction the unit vector there the coefficient is the 1 on there so this is 3 plus of 1 is the 4 on there so this way you can be able to identify the sum of the result for the vector a and b that means if any vector is represented as a form of a equal to ax ax i plus or a y j and b is defined as bx i plus or b y of j that time then only the summation of the coefficient is the enough one to get the value for the sum vector on there at this point we draw the analogy from vector to the signal what happened if we know the value for the a and b that time the let this one is draw for the a and this one is for the b for the instant of time let this is the t1 position time this one is the for the t2 position of time this is for the t3 position of time in this way this one is the t4 time so for individual position of time for the b also define the graphical point of view as such so what will be the summit result you just put the value for individual time of instant that is if you want to get the value of a b you have to identify what is the magnitude for the t1 position and for the t1 position also what is the magnitude for the t b you just add between them in this case this is defined the 3 and this is defined the 2 so this is 3 plus of 2 will be 5 on there so summation result for the a and b that is a 2 signal summation result will be 5 on that particular place so look that this one is happening in here 
and that is the a plus of b summit result for the signal will become as such the same or analogy can be applicable for the vector with also the signal we will now example examine another vector operator or operation show also uh, analogous operation to signal that is the for the vector case this is defined the dot product dot product the result is defined by a dot of b is equal to if the two vector is present the a b that time the resultant will become as a magnitude of a multiplied with the magnitude of b and which is multiplied with the cos of theta of a b where the theta of a b is defined the angle difference between the vector a and b so from this one the conclusion or analogy can also make for the signal one also what is the before that we just check on that for the dot product if these two vector are as a same direction or there the angle difference is the zero that time this can be treated as a a dot of b is equal to magnitude of a and only the magnitude of b as a multiplication term because here cos of theta of a b here theta of a b the angle between them is the zero so for the cos zero the resultant will be the one so ultimately the value for the a dot b is equal to will be the magnitude of a and b on there same way if the vector a and b are perpendicular each other that is the angle difference is the pi by 2 that time that the theta a b is defined the pi by 2 so cos of 90 degree or pi by 2 is equal to 0 on there so resultant will become on there as a 0 so from this one can also conclude that if there the angle term is present that time you can got some magnitude but if it is the 90 degree apart to signal or to vector that time the dot product result will become as a value of 0. So if you consider for the unit vector that time for the x axis the unit vector is defined the i so i dot of i equal to 1 because the angle is there the 0 so cos of 0 will be the 1 so magnitude for the i dot of i is equal to 1 on there same way for the j dot of j in the y direction the dot product of j of j will be as a value of 1. So the dot product of a unit vector i and the unit vector of j is 0 on there if you consider for the i j as such suppose a is defined as the a x i plus of a y j and b is defined as p of x i and p of y j there the dot dot product what will be you just identify as a multiplication as a form of the normal one that is you just multiplied initially with the ax i with the b of i and then again multiplied plus with the multiplied with the ax of i with the b of j now what happened if you multiply between the ax i into of a of i a of x i into of b of x i that time that the i dot of i will become on there that means i of i is equal to 1 on there so ultimately result will become on there ax into of bx if you consider these two that is the ax and the, the ax i into a dot of b of y of j that term ij the 90 degree apart so result will be the 0 so this term will be omitted on there if you consider for the next one term that time also a y j dot of b of x i so result it will be 0 and the a y and b of y j this dot product value will become as form of the a y b y so ultimately for the dot product value will be for two vector will become as a form of the a x b x plus of a y b y so from this we can conclude that what will be the form for any kind of vector as with the vector addition we can draw an analogy for the dot product to the form of the signal what is that that one is defined the inner product so for the case of the inner product this is also same as an analogy point of view this is also same as a vector dot product and that one notation will be as such this will be notated as such within the greater and the lower sign the at comma of bt you have to specify that means you are doing the inner product of at and the bt the inner product is generation of the dot product as i told if we had say four 
sample time that is the t1 t2 t3 and t4 look that for the t1 it is given as a value of the 4 3 for the t2 position the value is the 4 and the 1 is for the t3 position and for the t4 position the value for the a is the 2 on there same way for the bt signal the, the t1 position the value is the 2 for the t2 position that time the value for the bt is the 3 and 4 is for the 3 and for the t4 position the value is the 2 on there so what will be the dot product or the inner product of these two signal that one can be done by using just only individual instant of time position is just product or multiply between this magnitude that is this will be defined as a t1 b t1 and also plus with the a t2 b t2 and this is a t3 and b t3 and plus of a t4 plus of b t4 so ultimately if you check for this two signal the inner product will become as a 3 into of 2 4 into of 3 1 into of 4 2 into of 2 and then added between then the ultimate result will be 26 so inner product is the same way you can do for the vector multiplication what you do for the dot product the expression can be write down as a summation point of view and that one can be modified the expression as such that is the summation result is n equal to 1 to up to n if you are considering the t as a capital n times so that time this will be write down the expression of summation of n is equal to 1 to up to n a of n t of b of t of n this one can be write down now the question is that if time between the sample is decreased or also it will be the same type of question if the number of sample also increased what happens that time this kind of formation will be actually defined that the pair of continuous signal because if you increase the sample time that time your signal will be more likely to the continuous signal so this is the continuous signal can be represented on there so in here if you are defined by using the inner product as an integration point of view there the formation can be represented as such let an example is just used for calculating if what will be the inner product for the two signal that is the a t is equal to t when it, it is in between the 0 and 1 otherwise it will be 0 and the bt another one signal is equal to t squared in between the 0 and t else or otherwise its value is 0. So you just use this expression that is the integration of 0 to up to t a t of b t dt. So if you do this one that time the expression the result will become as a 1 by 4 just do yourself so it will be easy for the understand also another one question is given to that what will be the inner product if the a t is given as such that is the 1 for 0 to up to 1 and this is b t it will be 2 t minus of 1 in between the 0 and 1 otherwise both of a and b are the 0 on there the use the same formula that is 0 to up to t 0 to up to t and you just put the value of a t and b t so ultimately resultant will become on this case as a 0 so as i told that if the inner product is 0 this is also can be compared with the dot product as it results in as a 0 so for the dot product if the result is 0 that time we can say that two vector are as a perpendicular form or this is also defined the orthogonal form that is the 90 degree apart this two vector so in this case also we can conclude that inner product if it is come as a zero that time these two signal are the orthogonal form so this is written in here when the inner product of two signal is equal to zero we say that the two signal are orthogonal that is their 90 degree apart now there another one thing or conclusion can be made on there when two vector are perpendicular their dot product is zero when two signal are orthogonal that time their inner product is zero just as the inner product is generalization of the dot product we generalize the idea of two vectors being perpendicular if their dot product is zero to the idea of the two signal being orthogonal if their inner product is zero on there so same thing is applied here for the another kind of example find the inner product this kind of exercise you can do on there for your easy practice find the inner product of the 
following two functions that is the a t and b t is given to you a t is sign of omega c t in between the zero of capital t otherwise it will be zero and also b t is given as zero t of t so that case is the resultant will become as a value of zero so from this also you can conclude that if the inner product is zero that time this function that is the two signal which is chosen on there as a t and b t these two are the 90 degree apart each other that is they are orthogonal each other now the question is that find the inner product of a t cos of omega c t of zero what will be done for a single one a single one signal you are choosing on there and now you are interested to identify the inner product that means here b t is missing and that means the b t is replaced as the value of a t on there so if you do this one that time the resultant will become as a value from the this one that is in this case this is coming as a value of capital t by of t so this is also conclude that if the inner product of the signal with the itself is equal to its energy the dot product of the signal with itself is equal to its magnitude square also distinguishability of the signal what do you mean this one the strict distinguishability is the pro property of the two system to generate identical output signal only for the zero control input and the zero initial state vector so if you are not applying any kind of control input or zero initial state vector is present that time for the two system if you are getting the identical output that time this kind of formation can be treated as a distinguishability of the signal thank you i think each and everyone can able to understand otherwise you can talk with me in the class